again, my name is Gabe Zong. This is the 26th of January, 2019. Article on Politico. Title, All for Nothing, Trump's Wall Retreat, Bewilders Allies. Before the president was done talking on Friday, a group text chain with several former Trump aides lit up with complaints. Written by Anita Kumar and Gabby Orr. That's O-R-R. -R. Before President Trump finished speaking from the Rose Garden, putting a temporary end to the five-week government shutdown, a running group text between several of his former aides lit up with complaints. Nancy Pelosi ordered everything off the menu and left Trump hanging with the bill, one Trump ally text to the group. President Nancy Pelosi, she runs the country now, said a former White House official. We went from indefinite shutdown to down payment to cave, all within a span of 24 hours. The official said that Trump's core supporters and former aides are furious and melting down. Bewildered by his decision to accept a deal without funding for a wall on the northern border. What kind of deal? There is no deal. Can someone tell me what the deal is? Huh? There is no deal. The only deal is that they're going to continue negotiating. And you can't negotiate with Democrats. Listen to what Chuck Schumer said. Not today. Not next week. Not ever. Referring to the border wall. Not even the down payment the White House had requested a day earlier. Some of his most loyal supporters fretted that Trump was in danger of losing his fervent base that has fueled his presidency. It didn't help that special counsel Robert Mueller had just released more details about the Trump campaign's alleged attempts to back channel with WikiLeaks during the election. It all left Trump staring at a tough road ahead. Having staked his nascent 2020 re-election messaging to the wall fight, Trump now can't claim victory as Democrats start entering the field. After stumbling in his first bout with Pelosi, Trump has now faced an invigorated Democratic-led House keen to investigate the White House. And following Mueller's reveal of more evidence that Trump's 216 team tried fervently to gather intel about hacked Democratic emails, Trump will have to fend off increasing calls for impeachment. They're going to get him lying about Stormy Daniels and Karen McDougal. That's what's going to take him down. Trump allies in Congress and some conservative Immigration advocates did come to the president's defense on Friday, arguing that he was taking the high road and calling Democrats bluff on a vow to negotiate on border security once the government reopened. They're not going to negotiate. You heard what Chucky said. Not today, not next week, not ever. Trump also defended himself late Friday on Twitter. I wish people would read or listen to my words on the border wall. We listen to your words. Mexico's going to pay for it. How many times did you say that, huh? I lost count. This was in no way a concession. It was taking care of millions of people who were getting badly hurt by the shutdown with the understanding that in 21 days, if no deal is done, it's off. To the races, he wrote. Now, what the hell does that mean? It's off to the races. Are you threatening those 800,000 workers again, huh? Or are you going to go ahead and sign your emergency declaration, which you should have done before this government shutdown? But the moment still seemed deflating for the president, who prides himself on winning so much. You're going to get tired of winning. Actually, Trump, you haven't won in a very long time, have you? During a month-long shutdown, Trump's approval rating dropped to record lows. 
his much touted economy lost steam because of the shutdown and conservative immigration activists rolled their eyes over his wall fixation. The wall fixation is designed to distract so they can go ahead and do what they do. That's all it is. Distract, divert, to do what? To deceive. And the wall is the one issue that Trump allies say he can't lose on. Just three weeks ago, GOP Senator Lindsey Graham predicted doom if Trump didn't get wall funding. Quote, he's not going to sign a bill that doesn't have money for the wall. If he gives in now, that's the end of 2019 in terms of him being an effective president. Graham said on Fox News, that's probably the end of his presidency. <laughs> well, I think it was all done by design. The whole thing was done by design. You've heard me say this. We don't get to elect presidents. They're selected for us. Every one of them. Barack Hussein Obama ran against brain-dead McCain. They both had birther issues. Then he ran against a Mormon. Mormon had zero chance of being elected. Mitt Romney. The whole thing's a joke. Trump was selected for the role that he's in to do what he's done, which is pretty much decimate and destroy the Republican Party. I have no doubt in 2020 there'll be a Democrat in the White House. And then get ready to kiss your Second Amendment. Goodbye. We already lost the first. I lost my first. And millions of other Americans have lost their first. Just a matter of time. Like I said, it was all done by design. Thanks for listening. The link will be attached.